What's up fam, we back at it again. Today I got a short video for you guys. Unfortunately, GoPros suck, so I lost my footage originally shot for the intro and for the beginning of the video. So basically I only have half the footage I shot. So I'm still gonna throw something together for you guys because I promised a video a week, so I wanna live up to that. Uh, but if you've been following along with the channel, you know my sister plugged me on some wheels and tires So the video today is about picking up those wheels and tires and putting them on the JKU So uh, the Jeep is getting some new shoes and we're gonna put them on today uh, I'm gonna cut to when we're coming back from the Sierras to pick up these wheels and tires because we had to go to the ranch to pick them up That's where she had them stored. So let's jump right into it and uh, get down to the video All right, fam, so little issue here. Our trailer lights are not working. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we have our lights on on the Jeep. It shows there on the connector that we have lights on. However, we don't have marker lights. We don't have tail lights. And it is getting dark, so we need to take care of this. We have no marker or tail lights. So, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix these tail lights, see what's wrong with them. You know, it's a good thing we have O'Reilly's here. We're gonna have to get a test light and we're gonna go in here and get some parts. See, we can't fix these trailer lights here on the road. Uh, all right, let me go in here real quick. We got our test light, we got some connectors and some strippers. So let's try to fix this wiring problem. All right fam, so we got our test light, we got our strippers and a couple butt connectors. So we'll go ahead and try to figure out this janky ass wiring uh, because we're not getting any lights on the back of the trailer. All right, so first thing we're gonna start is finding the ground and seeing where we have power because it shows over here if you can see that that there's power on for tail lights there should be a lead here that is hot now I can't remember which one is what color wise so we find a better ground This one appears to be tail lights. Let me double check. If not, we're gonna use it anyways. All right, got my son in there. He's gonna work the lights for me. Turn it on. Turn it off. On. Off. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So we located our tail lights here. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which one of these are going to power the lights on the back of the trailer. I'm assuming it's this brown one. It's the only thing not connected, it looks like. So I'm just gonna try it. All right, before I commit, I'm just gonna touch them together and see if the tail lights come on. All right, I think we found the winner, so I'm gonna go ahead and just butt connect these together and get back on the road. 
some other day we'll go ahead and fix this wiring permanently because it definitely needs some work and I'm noticing I do have some bulbs out on the trailer so I'll have to replace those anyways but just a quick little side of the road fix all right so we got some tape I'm gonna go ahead and tape this up again this is just a temporary fix we're back at the house some other day we'll go ahead and clean all this wiring up but for now this will get us down the road all right here we go that's it all right so now we got tail lights again we only got one clearance light because that's obviously going to need to be replaced because those bulbs are out but we got at least some tail lights marker light over here and a marker light on this side so that'll be good enough to get down the road All right, fam, so you can see it's the next morning. We got the tires and wheels put on last night. Take a look at it there. They're looking fresh. They do stick out of the fender quite a bit. You can see there on the side, there's a lot of poke out on that tire, uh, especially in the front. You take a look at the front, it's more than half the tire um, sticking outside of the fender. So. Not sure we're gonna have to do something about that. For now, I'm gonna rock it just the way it is. I think it looks a lot more aggressive though on these tires. Um, obviously, they're bigger, but the tre tread pattern, a lot more blockier than the BFG All Terrain. So I do like that. And I just think it gives it an overall more chunkier look. So, you know just trying to get this quick video in before the rain start coming because it looks like it's going to rain this morning but this is where we're at on the jeep we're going to take it for a test drive today i didn't get to drive it last night uh, but me and the kids will take it out today and see how it drives and i'll give you my impressions of how it drives but these are the older generation uh toyo rt open country so the tread pattern is a little different now. Uh, but to be honest, I think I like this tread pattern better than the one that supersedes it. This older tread pattern looks, to me, more aggressive. But let's see how it dries. 
So let me go ahead and jump in and we'll get driving down the road and I'll give you my impressions on its driving characteristics. All right, fam, so driving the vehicle at 40 miles an hour, there's hardly a difference in sound from the BFG all-terrains. That's what I had on here, the KO2s. Uh, so it's about the same noise-wise, at least the 40. We'll take it out on a highway a little bit later and see how we like it there but 40 miles an hour sounds nice and quiet no issues there so definitely like uh the ride quality of it it steers brakes well we drove a little in the rain yeah no issues with these tires i'll get back with you guys a little bit later going down the highway all right fam so we're going down the freeway about 65 70 miles an hour the sound still the same, pretty comparable to an AT. Uh, my old tire was a BFG KO2s uh, all terrain, and they sound about the same. Uh, now I heard that they probably get a little louder over time, but we'll see. At this point, they sound just fine going down the highway. So let's get over here. We're gonna uh, pull up next to the bay, uh, kind of end this video. So let me go over to the bay, find a nice little spot to do a photo shoot, and I'll get back with you. All right, fam, as you can see there, we found the only little bit of dirt that we're gonna find here in the Bay Area. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to test these tires out today on the trail, but as for in the city, it performs perfectly. The sound levels are really good on the tires, so they're not really loud on the highway or on the streets. And they have a beautiful lug pattern on here. I think they're just aggressive enough, but not so aggressive that they create a lot of noise. So it's a good compromise between the all-terrain and the mud tire. Uh, I do like the deep lug pattern on here. So we get the benefit of like a mud terrain, but the sensibility of an all-terrain. So I do like that about these tires. And I'm gonna have to say, these wheels are growing on me. I do like the way the wheels look. I'm gonna get them cleaned up here and I'm gonna ride it out through the week. And I think I'm gonna really like these wheels. Also, you can see we got a little bit of mud on here, but we're going to get and hit the trail on this next time when we get able to get to the trail. But right now, there's a lot of snow in the Sierras, so most of the trails are going to be closed. I want to go ahead and just wrap up this video, taking one last look at the tires. We may get some fender flares to cover up the tire a little more, but we do like this aggressive look here with the tire sticking out. There's also some wheel spacers on here. I don't know if you can see them, uh, but there is an inch and a half wheel spacer on these wheels. So I don't know if I'm gonna take the wheel spacers off to bring the tires back in a little more or leave it out like this. Cause I don't know, I think I like this aggressive look. You guys can let me know in the comments if I should leave the wheel spacers on or take them off to bring the tires back into the body a little more. However, we're gonna go ahead and end this video and if you like what you saw today, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and tap into the channel and hit that notification bell. Be notified of my next episode because I do drop bangers weekly. And I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you guys that support the channel. And until next time, stay good, family. Peace.